हेलो स्टूडेंट आज का टॉपिक है एम्बियोबियोसिस मेन अमीबा से होने वाला इन्फेक्शन तो सबसे पहले हम उसकी डेफिनेशन तो हम बात करते हैं डेफिनेशन ऑफ एम्बियोबियोसिस एम्बियोबियोसिस इज ए प्रोटोजोअल इन्फेक्शन इनिशियली इन्वॉल्व कोलन लीवर एंड लंग्स नेक्स्ट है इटिलॉजी एजेंट एंटामीबा Vein to the portal vein to the liver, therapy forming to become ambic liver abscess. There are two development stages. Number one is trophozoites, yeah, vegetative form. In this, they are the facilitating parasites. They may invade the tissue or may be found in the parasite's tissue. And liquid colonic attack. Next is a cyst. Cyst is a pass out with form or semi form tools, stools, and are resistant to environmental condition. And these the this is considered as the infective in the life cycle of E. histolytica. Next the pathology of amoebiosis. In this, when the cyst is swallowed. it passes through the stomach unharmed and show no activity while in an acidic environment this is first opportunity of the organism to colonize and its success depend on one or more meta cystic protozoites making contact with the host sources is human excreta means human excretions Next is the incubation period. The incubation period in severe infection is there three years, three days. Incubate yeah, chronic form is lasts for the several months. In average cases, the incubation period varies from three to four weeks. Next is the period of communicability. The microorganism is communicable for the entire duration of the illness. Next is the mode of transmission. The disease can be passed from one person to another through pectoral transmission, direct contact, contact, sexual contact, and ingestion of food. Food or drink may be contaminated by cysts throughout pollution of water supply, exposure to fire, flies, use of night soil for fertilizing but vegetables and through unhygienic practices of food handler next is a pathogenesis yeah pathophysiology of amoebiosis in this ingestion of bacteria to multiplication in mucosa to into tox endotoxin production in infected the lining of the small intestine colon and capillaries to necrosis of mucosal layer to ulceration to gangrene and toxemia next is a clinical manifestation number 1 is acute amoebic dysentery in this light attack of diarrhea altered with periods of constipation and often accompanied by tension next is a diarrhea watering and fall smelling stool often containing blood sticking glucose colic and gaseous distension of lower abdomen nausea flatulence abdominal distension and tenderness in the right iliac region over the colon next is a chronic amoebic dysentery in this attack of dysentery that lasts for several days usually succeed by constipation tenseness accompanied by the desire to defecate 
anorexia weight loss and weakness and liver may be enlarged next is the extra intestinal form in this pain at the upper right quadrant with tenderness of liver jaundice intermittent fever loss of weight of anorexia abscess may break through the lungs patient cough and gavi source symptom next is the diagnostic examination in this stool examination blood examination and protoscopic ya sigmoidoscopic are used next is the treatment Metalities in this metro need the zone 800 mg for five days. Tetracycline 250 mg every six hour. Ampliclin, quinolones, streptomycin, and lost fruit and electrolytes should be replaced. Method of prevention: health education, sanitary disposal of feces, protect. chlorinate and purified drinking water observe scrupulous cleanliness in food preparation handling detection and treatment of carriers and flies 